we've been talking about miracles in this season and being a miracle and, and doing small acts of kindness that become a miracle in the lives of others. Whether it's bringing some cookies to the nursing home or whether it's helping somebody like Pastor Gwines did. But let me tell you something. In the process of receiving or giving or being a miracle, every miracle is related to a misery. Every miracle is related to a misery. Go through your Bible, go all through the New Testament, and you'll be hard-pressed to find a miracle that's not related to a misery. We talk about the man who sat by the pool 38 years, and we talk about the miracle that he got, never mentioning the misery of sitting by a pool for 38 years, stinking and sick and can't raise yourself, you can't have a miracle without a misery. And what about blind Bartimaeus and all the other blind people that were healed in the Bible? Every miracle has a misery. The woman with the issue of blood was miserable, and yet she got a miracle. Every miracle is related in some way to a Hell, Mary, you've been highly favored. Hell, angel, you just messed up. <laughs> Spell it how you want to. <clears throat> you just messed up my wedding. You just dropped a word on me that caused my boyfriend to give me a divorce. We were going good till you showed up. And you say I'm blessed? Well, before you came, I was about to get married. Now Joseph is trying to find a quiet way to get rid of me. And if I receive the miracle, then I open myself up to the misery. This is the situation in life. If I receive the miracle, I open myself up to a misery I never had before. 